choose a character to represent your adventures. On your journey towards becoming a pirate legend, you'll be able to customize your chosen character with clothing, hairstyles, beard styles, eye patches, hooks, peg legs. Choose a character that represent your adventures. On your journey towards becoming a pirate legend, you'll be able to customize your chosen character with clothing, hairstyles, beard styles, eye patches, hooks, peg legs, equipment, and weapons. Okay. Oh, good gosh. Let's see. So we can go... How do we do this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Big fat guy. Muscular guy. Debonair guy and old guy. Young guy. An old older woman. Oh wow. We've got more options here this time. Let's create a new pirate. She looks badass. Let's see if there's anything better than that. All right, there we go. I like this one. female. There we go. Maiden Voyage. Set sail on the Maiden Voyage to prepare yourself for a life on the Sea of Thieves. Learn the ropes, hoist the sail, and get ready for adventure. Vote on the Tall Tale Book next to the Mysterious Stranger in any tavern to begin your quest for the Shores of Gold. Gold Hoarders, Merchant Alliance, and Orders of Souls Seek Emissaries. Are you prepared to fly the flag for your cho- Well, give me time to read it. On a familiar size with the essential skills and tools of piracy, play the maiden voyage and set sail for the Th Sea of Thieves. Alright. Looks like we're starting off here. First person. That is cool. I like that. Who is this dude? You look a little Pirate. worse for wear, my friend. You must be on quite the journey. I should eat something if I were you. A full belly can do wonders for your spirits. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. Hold Q to open equipment redial. Press that to eat the banana. There, you look better already. Maybe even strong enough to reach the Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. These days they call me the Pirate Lord, but back when I discovered this place, I was just a bold explorer like you. I dreamt of finding uncharted waters filled with treasures and rife with danger, where every sunrise brought a new adventure. You've been brave to make it this far. Not many do. Now you've one last crossing to make. You'll want some trusty steel at your side, though. There's a sword in those trees whose owner doesn't seem to need it anymore. Okay. 
pick up the cutlass. Alright. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> He wasn't quite done with it. Okay, we'll stole it. Speak to the pirate lord on the beach. Oh, on the beach. Duh. I like the graphics in this. There's far more to being a pirate than a blade in your hand and a love of other people's money. It's about finding your way through ancient caverns by lamplight, digging up long-lost treasures, and raising a frothing great tankard of grog when you live to tell the tale. For all that, you'll need the right equipment. You can start by taking this old shovel. Okay. I stowed a few belongings around here back in the day. The map will show you the way. Map? What map? Quest received. Okay. Ho oh, E to view your maps. Okay. What? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to look on this map, but before I do anything more, I'm going to take a look around because sometimes. You know, they want to get you into the story right away, and I kind of want to look around and see if there aren't any, some, anything hidden on this particular island. There might not be, but there might be at the same time. See, that's kind of weird. Glowing mushrooms. Wait a minute, there's something there. Hold on. It's like I buried something or other. Where's my uh, shovel? Was it F? No. B? No. E? No. Well, that's the map. Q? Yeah, that's it. Alright, read the Sea of the Damned. Now, all my journeys to this island are happy ones. Today I stumbled upon this poor soul. Maps still in their hands to think they were so close. No matter how swiftly we set sail or sharp our aim, it is only a matter of time before the reaper's hand clamps down upon our shoulder. I am fortunate to have had a friend with wisdom enough to know this. Thanks to her I live on beyond my years, at least in spirit. For younger pirates, another hope presents itself. When they perish, their souls are saved from drifting alone through the sea of the damned. If you should die on the Sea of Thieves and find yourself in the ferryman's company, know this. He deserves your respect, for he has made the greatest sacrifice of all. Huh. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I had gone through this one other time and lost some of the footage. Thought I'd redo this. But this time, instead of going straight to the treasure that the... What's his name is talking about? I decided to take a look around this island. And yeah, there's some stuff here. Definitely some stuff here to at least look at. Might help me in the future. I don't know, may not. But see, there's this like ship here. Doesn't seem like there's anything on this in particular. But if you go up here. It also helps you get used to moving around and climbing ladders and doing things that you're going to do later on in the game. But it doesn't hurt to kind of look around, make sure there isn't something that you might be able to use in the future. So far I'm not seeing anything new over here. But I did see something up topside that I want to check out. And as of, because of that, I decided to re-record this. See right here is a wheel which you can try out. And that's how you turn the wheel with the A and the D to steer your ship. 
Looks like there was another book here. Read, they gave it a name. Sea of Thieves is what they're calling it nowadays. The genie is out of the bottle and mole pirates are finding their way there every day. So, some are looking to hide from their enemies, from their past, from the Grand Maritime Union, while others have heard the call to adventure. It's only a matter of time before they reach the island, too. Maybe they'll be dreaming about it all, the Sea of Thieves has to offer, just as I was. If that's the shape of things to come, I'd be a fool to complain. Instead, I'll stole a few supplies around the place for those who need them. Things work differently beyond the shroud. Better, for the most part, but newcomers will have to think on their feet if they're to survive. Then we want to go on a crow's nest. This must have been the um, pirate lord's old ship. And there's yet another book, Lost Secrets. Last at all, the keys to the ship's hold is missing. It must have slipped from my pocket at some point in my time here. Between this and the business at Rathbone, I'm developing a bad habit of losing the keys to my belongings. Perhaps it was made to bid its bid for freedom for my jacket when I climbed up for a drink of fresh spring water. Ah well, it's another lost treasure now. I don't know. We will find out, I guess. But any of those books might want to read them. It might help me in the future. I don't know. Maybe they're useless. Ooh, there's the plank. <laughs> That's a long way down. Okay. All right, we have checked over here. Did we check down there? I don't know if we did or not. Let's go ahead and check down in this water here. Just thought I'd take a look, see. Oh, chickens. Chickens, chickens, chickens. Mm, not seeing anything. Well, he did say he was getting a drink of water. That's why I was kind of checking that out. Ooh, there's some kind of structure over there. Okay, there's, there's another ladder. Places. That must have been their brig. Yeah, that looks like it'd be something, but it's not. Ooh, that actually hurt a little bit. That got it. Okay, went back there. That's back to where I came from. Let's go up here. And let's see if there's anything up here at all. Looks like another mast. There's some more water to check out. All I'm seeing are fish. <laughs> You know, you gotta look. Explore, explore, explore. Okay, now I don't want to go back to where I came from. I'm gonna go to a new place if I can. Now, how do I get over there? Was a way out of there. 
Okay, we're gonna go over here. Ooh. Bet there's something cool in there, but I don't know. I bet there's there's something cool in there, I just don't know how to get in there. Maybe that's something we'll find out later on. Oh, wait a minute, this might be it. Ooh, a big door. Doesn't look like we can open it either. Wait a minute. Ah, use lever. Cool. What is all this stuff? Ah, another book. Even with all the wonders I've experienced, it's the simple things in life that remain the most enjoyable. Tonight, that's a hot, ro hot meal roasted over a roaring fire. Fresh fruits, all well and good, but if you take the time to properly prepare a meal, you'll feel all the better for it. The trick is to keep an eye on the dish and serve it up when it's perfectly cooked. No amount of grog can wash away the taste of burned food. With care and a bit of practice, even a humble splash tail can keep a pirate good health with a full belly. At least they're good for something. I'm not sure what a splash tail is. Well, this is all still lit and everything. I was hoping. Nope. Can't do anything with anything here. Damn, just another book. I guess it's not just another, but ooh, it looks like we're going to that secret spot. Yep. That's cool. Raise anchor. See, here you can practice raising an anchor. Not that that's good. Oh, that puts that down. That's cool. So there was a purpose to that. Let's see. Use pulley. At the same time, oh, guess I needed to go in there. Really. There's a dinghy here. Climb into the rowboat. Do we have oars? Sit in the rowboat. Open the rowboat chest. It's empty. Damn it. Well, I don't have oars. <laughs> There must be ores somewhere, guys. Okay, that's that way out I saw before. But that's not going to do me any good now. Yeah, I missed so much when I came through here the first time. So much of it is ridiculous. As I look back here, maybe there's some ores. What the heck? Is oh, it's just a circle. Well, without the ores, there's not a whole lot I can do.
Okay, now I'm kind of stuck. Maybe not. Okay, here we go. Jeez. That's quite the adventure. I haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head on up here again. I thought I saw some ores. See, there's, there's an ore, but I can't take it. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see where this takes us. Ooh, another hidden spot. Of all the unsolved mysteries that haunt my dreams, none are more tantalizing than the long-lost people known to pirates as the Ancients. Their legacy can be felt across the Sea of Thieves, from ruins that lurk beneath deep waters to clifftop paintings that share my humbler efforts. They clearly had a great wealth of knowledge and had mastered many curses and other arcane powers, yet something drove them to leave. Maybe some great war or calamity struck their civilization. Maybe it was simply time for them to move on. The truth, as it always has, eludes us all. Hmm. Yeah, you can't really do anything with that, but... It does help give you some insights. Okay, there's the ship. So there's the tip of the island, and I need to go over to that side right there, guys. So, now the trick is getting down. <laughs> this would have been a nice place to live, honestly. Looks like there's plenty of things to eat and... Enough wood. this way. So I did need to go back where I left to get to that point where I can dig it up. Let's see, was it E? No, that's just the map. Q? Yes. Q is it. And it's supposed to be right around here somewhere. Here we go. There it is. Now we pick it up. And we head over back to the pirate board. Big dude. Master Yoda. go. Ah, my old chest. Let's see if she still hides her secrets. All right, let's open her up. All kinds of goodies. Take the sailor's equipment. 
flint lock. There we go. A fine weapon. She'll serve you well out there. Let's see what we got here. We've got... There. Now you look like a true pirate. There's plenty more to see, so why not stretch your legs and explore? I'll be here when you're ready to leave. Okay, there's our compass. We already did some exploring. Ooh, there we go. Flint lock, and you can use your middle mouse button to switch between these. These are for weapons. Let's see. We got spyglass. We got our grog. Ooh, and there's something in it. Like, isn't she? And there we go, we got a clock. So it's only like. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. I guess 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of hard to read that. Oh, that grog made me drunk. Did it make me drunk or not? Gee whiz, wow. <laughs> She's having a bit of a time here. <laughs> She's <laughs> I'm so drunk. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Stop the island from moving. Yeah, I guess I did. the shindig on the road here. All right. Well now, I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. Allow me to show you the path. is beginning to part but you have one more task before your journey continues you may be ready to sail but your ship still needs repairs go and tend to her wounds sorry about the coughing guys my wife has pneumonia she's been struggling with it for weeks Alright, would have been nice to have the dinghy to take out here, but I guess we'll have to deal with it. Board my ship. Okay, now before we need to do that, we need to pull the mast up. That's how I did it last time. Oh, I gotta set the sail length first. Okay. Hold down on S to raise the mast. Find wood from the wood barrel below deck. Now, I already did some exploration earlier, so I know where that is now. Before, I was like, where's the wood barrel? Damn it. You see, the, it's a little bit flooded down here, too. The wood barrel's right here. You only need three. So, three will do it. So, we 
take this up here and we don't climb the ladder but we come over here and we repair hold it down until that circles complete that doesn't seem like that would be enough to hold that does it <laughs> to view my equipment. Let's see, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Oh, I've got a lantern. Spyglass. That's down to the hold, I assume. The harpoon. This is cool. I can't wait to use this. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Alright. Alright, let's see what else we can look at. Let's see, we've got a cannonball barrel. What we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple of cannonballs. Not ten of them. Well, we'll grab ten of them. We're going to go ahead and load these up. Just so we have them ready to go. Isn't going to hurt anything. Now eh, let's just hold on to them. We might need them. Okay, let's see here. We. What's next? Yeah, I need the bucket so I can get this water out of here. Alright. Oh. One bucket full is all... <laughs> really? Well, here's the water barrel. That's if I get thirsty, I assume. This is the map table. I don't know how you use this yet. I guess this is like the map. I don't know. Let's put that away. So we need to raise the anchor. set the sail length at the back of the ship. So is that it? I think it is. Yep. Well. Oh, that's the angle. That's the angle, maybe that's... Oh, wait a minute. That's angle, too. Where's the... How do you set... Oh, here it is. Length. And now we're underway, guys. Maiden Voyage, and we got to sail between those flames. Doesn't sound too harsh. And they're basically giving us a path to follow, so... Aye, aye, Captain. Steady as she goes. Probably don't want to get too close to that. <coughs> and 
there's some rocks over there we don't really want to get too close to. Big shark. Big shark. Megalodon. What the hell is that? Is he shooting at me? Okay, I've got cannonballs. Let me get out of here. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. This way, this way, this way. Yep, we made it. The voyage is over. 